We will get to the, the, the we will progress the story soon. Don't worry about that. I'm just wondering where the hell. Oh, that, is that it? Yeah. So, why can't I? All right, soon. Time. It's back where I uh, began. Gotta get to increasingly higher places. So. Chess. Kind of curious. Right, let's get on this one first, then. Okay, so that's one. Three tunnel, okay. I thought I'd try to cheese it, but it's not going to let me cheese. Oh, oh, that could have been very bad. I can 
go over there though. that one there now this one to get up there easily yep giddy up No, nothing? Okay. The third eye is open. Oh. That kind of looks like uh, Spirited Away, doesn't it? that I can wear now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can change my clothing as well. So let's go here. Okay. Child's mask. Ibexi mask. A mask worn by those in the sand sea made of bone. The ones particular to the Ibexi are made from the skull of a mountain goat. Okay. The Ibexi glider top. The clothing made for Ibexi children as they go out for their gliding. The cloak is unmistakably Ibexi red. I don't know if they're good or bad or if they add a positive effects or whatever. Jaddy made these. The patterning is unique to the Ibexi. The fabric seems to have been made at the Burnt Oak Station. Cool. We'll rock it. Machinist badge. Shaped like some sort of mechanical part, the badge feels solid and well engineered in my palm. Hmm. Built from the parts I collected about the Ewa. The red trail it emits is mesmerizing and reminds me of the red cloth of the Ibexi. The Ekrine made glass at the core of this part is unmatched in durability. The stability and chemical purity of the glass makes the energy source inside it extremely stable. Wings for the bike I helped Scissor to build. They provide a, a smooth balance of movement, perfect for long journeys. Hmm. And I've also got that. Is that just glitchiness? Yeah, probably a little bit of glitchiness. That's fine. 
Yeah. Feels like I'm in a um vaporwave uh, a vaporwave simulation. All right, let's get out of here. Hmm. You mean to press that? Time to get out of here. And my bike should be around here. It should have been around here. My bike's gone. Maybe my bike's gone. Okay. A bit abrupt. Pretty sure that's where I parked it. Oh wait, is that it? No, it's not. No, I definitely parked around here. I got to about here and I couldn't, and then I dropped off here. Alright. Alright, game. It's fine. It's fine. Oh shit, has everyone actually left? Oh wow, that's like a strong feeling, isn't it? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Daddy's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet it still warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice, and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever. But I'm ready. And so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends, you are not without family, you are not without love. These things you will always carry with you, as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this. If I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the machinist at Burnt Oak Station and among Sizo's closest friends. Utari's a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only suggestion though. As for us, I'll send another message once we return to the Ewer, so keep an eye on the post boxes, and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath and I forget that things as easily as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. So, um, that's my bike. Pull out. What? Oh, Simu. 
Fuck yeah, boy. Oh, that looks slick, doesn't it? Fuck yeah. Oh, that looks slick. Hey, Grey Ghosty. What's up? What's up? Can we get it. Can we get a cheers? Can we get a cheers for it? Yes, I think we can. I think we can. There we go. Frost. It's a bit early for me to start drinking, but I might. I might have one later. We'll see. We'll see. It is Sunday. And I usually don't drink the day before work, but we'll see. But how are you, Grey? I hope you're well. I'm playing a game called Sable. Tears, tears. So, yeah. Let's see the quest log then. Okay, leave the canyon. Yeah, I can do that. Alright. Let's just explore a little bit. Let's go back to this area. Yeah, this, this glider is looking sick. It's I love it. Oh! We have some treasure. Twenty of whatever the hell the uh, currency is. Don't forget, when it gets closer to five or six o'clock my time, you should go watch a streamer called Traz. I believe that he's streaming tonight. He promised. So, uh, you all have permission to leave. I mean, you can all like. <laughs> I'm not your mum. If you if you don't want to stick around, I mean it's it's all fine. I'm just saying. Traz's stream is, is always a fun time. I think he's doing Redneck Rampage. Still. What is in here? Treasure for me? Hmm. Oh, a chum egg. Come here. Chum egg. Get my belly. One more chum egg for me. So that's what Sable looks like now. We still haven't seen behind the mask. Maybe we will near the end of the journey. I think by putting the mask there. Um. It's like you can imagine yourself as the pro tag, and I think it's a bit of a cop out to do that. It's like just just flesh out a character. Right. Where's Simoon? Where's my where's my ride? Oh, it must be the, the other side of the rock. I finished. Uh, Axiom Verve yesterday. Quite a good um, Metroidvania game. I love the mute um, ability of this mic. Alright, um. Just explore, I guess. This is a cruisy ass game. Yeah, that looked like fun. Yeah, it was fun. Definitely was fun. Time to get another. There we go, another sunshine butterfly. I don't know what they do. Doesn't that look kind of cool? Like the energy source is in that, and you got the um, the propeller at the back, and just glides in the air. That's fucking sick, bruh. Look at that sick, bruh. Now I think I already. Yeah, I did go in here and um, Saima. The, the little brat from our village, she uh, she fucked around and found out. I had to click bugs for her though. Is that another? That is another something. But what are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, your treasure. I'll take that. Oh. Like a sword. Can I have the sword? No? I'm not gonna give him this sword. 
Interesting. Hmm. Alright. That was a cool little detour, I guess. And yes, this does seem to be the max speed, but, um, you know, it's alright. I like how it's, um, quiet. Yeah. So you can really appreciate the music, I guess. Are there any butterflies there? No. I've been through there, but, uh, that. I said that I was going to try to explore that. Might as well go there. No treasure there. Nothing. Here we are. I've left the I've left the uh, canyon. Oh, that's what it was. Sounds like Aurora. I like it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, I'm just vibing. Peter is very cool. That was pretty cool. I think they've managed to put together something that is original and not overly influenced by other games. I would, I would tend to agree. It's not too derivative. Because everything, you know, if you pick it down, it can be thought of as derivative, but... Like, it, it feels big. It feels big. Trying to see if there's like big landmarks around here. Oop. Just 
vibe. This game's just big, big old vibe. I dig it. I don't quite know where to go, but that's okay. jump. Oh. Are you something? Nah. Keeping my eyes peeled just to see if I can find something out of the ordinary. I do like how understated the music is. Well, other than when I left. That was pretty epic, I thought. these or something? No. Yeah, well I can see smoke, but is that where I came from? No, that's where I came from. So yeah, that's okay. This is likely the destination where I need to go. This desert area kind of reminds me of um one of the beginning areas of Final Fantasy XII. For some reason. I didn't mean to do that. Can you get up there? Please? No? No. I'm gonna go to Cosmo Canyon. Climb up mountains like in Skyrim. 